I'm going to read some of the prophecy that came forth on November 4th Hallelujah. of Thank this year. You. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. So first, if you would just bow your heads with me and we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come before you today. Yes. I'm doing what I feel like yes. you told me to do. Yes. And I pray that each heart in here would receive this word today, Lord. Yes. That we would take a hold of it because you know what's ahead. We don't know everything that's ahead, but you do, Lord Jesus. Yes. And we love you, and I pray that you help me to be your mouthpiece today. Yes, Lord. And have your way in us, in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank I'm not going to go over the whole thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's on YouTube if you would like to. To see that. Hallelujah. But I'm going to highlight some things. And then we're going to sing a song. Hallelujah. And worship. And you're free to come up here. Whatever. But <clears throat> um, the love of a friend. Hallelujah. We all have friends. Some of them are close. Some of them may be acquaintances. Some of them may be Hallelujah. a neighbor or friend. Thank you. But he's not just any friend. Right. Thank you. Lord. A lot of us, most Christians probably know that. The name Jehovah Jireh, because it's really popular. There's a lot of songs about it. Jireh means provider. He's my provider. Yes. The Lord provides. But Amen. many may not know Jehovah Ra, R-A-A-H, Jehovah Ra. Hallelujah. He's not just any friend. He's Jehovah Ra. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you what that means. Hallelujah. If you look it up in Hebrew, Ra means to tend a flock, yes. pasture. Psalm 23. You can see that there. That he is Jehovah Ra in Psalm 23. To graze, shepherd, pastor, keep, companion. Psalm 23 is not just about him being your shepherd. Right. It's about him being your friend. Hallelujah. And a friend in Jesus is not the same as the friends you have right now. It means Amen. way, way more yes. than you think it does. Yes. If you really go back and research that word, it means so many more things. Yes. To Jesus, being a friend means so much more. Amen. Because he's not just any friend, he's Jehovah Ra. Yes. Jehovah is translated as the existing one or Lord. The chief meaning is derived from the Hebrew word Hava, meaning to be or exist. He is Lord. He is Jehovah. Yes. It suggests to become, to become. This denotes a God who reveals himself unceasingly. He never stops being. Ra is shepherd in Hebrew. You can see in Ezekiel 34, 11 through 15, an extended translation is Rhea, which is friend or companion. And all this is explained more in that YouTube video. But... This word indicates the intimacy God desires between himself and his people. Yes. When the two words are combined, it translates Jehovah Ra, the Lord my friend. Yes. Also, the Lord my shepherd. It's the yes. same thing. Hallelujah. When Je what Jesus is saying in simpler terms here is he's your friend. He's your shepherd. Yes. Because he's not just any friend, he's Jehovah Ra. And you're like, why are we talking about this? This is what he wanted me to tell you. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18, 24. A man that has friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Yes. See, he's devoted to his friends. Yes. He's not going to bail on you when you need somebody. And everything's going down. You know, some people bail on you. Right. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. He loves his friends. Mm -hmm. He's devoted to his friends. He has called you a friend. Yes. Yes. The Son of God has called you a friend. Yes. Proverbs 27 talks about ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. The sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. He counsels his friends. He's close to his friends. Yes. Luke 11 and 8, I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, this is when the man was coming, beating on the door, I need something, Somebody, somebody's here, I think he needed food or bread or something. And 
It says he's not going to give up because he is his friend, but because of his Im importunity, he will rise and give him. Yes. He hears you. Yes. He hears you. Yes. He sees you. Yes. He's listening to you. Yes. He's not just any friend. He's Jehovah Ra. Thank, yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. James 2, 23. The scripture was fulfilled, which said, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, yes. and he was called the friend of God. Do you believe God? Yes. You are his friend. Yes. And you have the best friend we could ever have. Amen. He Amen. says, you're my friend if you obey my commands. Yes. In the strongest sense of the word, a friend is closer than a brother. That's loyalty. Yes. Peter said he was willing to die for Jesus. Uh-huh. How about you? Hallelujah. It's easy to say. Amen. That's right. It was easy to say. Yes. When everything was going good. Yes. I noticed studying this that Judas and Peter had something in common besides being a disciple. Mm -hmm. Besides being Jewish and being Jesus' disciple or whatever. He, they had one more thing in common, in common. Judas, the betrayer of Jesus, and Peter, whose name will be on the foundation of the New Jerusalem. What more could they have in common? Hmm. Regret. Mm -hmm. During the heartbreak of realizing you forsook and denied your closest, most precious friend, the Bible says Peter cried bitterly. And that's because he's not just any friend. He's Jehovah Ra. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to teach you a Hebrew word. We Americans like to pronounce it chesed because we don't know how to use our tongue to do stuff other languages do. C-H-E-S-E-D. It reads chesed, but that's not how you pronounce it. Amen. They say you have to pretend there's a little tickle in the back of your throat. Chesed. Like you're coughing or something. Or your throat itches. It's chesed. They say there is no word in the English language that can translate this concept. Chesed is described as a sense of love and loyalty that inspires merciful and compassionate behavior toward another person. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter if your emotions fluctuate. It's a sense of love and loyalty that inspires merciful and compassionate behavior toward the other person. Mm -hmm. yes. Exodus 34, 6 and 7 says, The core idea communicates loyalty or faithfulness within a relationship. We can think of Jonathan and David in this instance. Chesed surpasses ordinary kindness and friendship which is what we experience here with our friend. It runs deeper than social expectations, responsibilities, fluctuating emotions, or what is deserved or earned by the recipient. We cannot earn God's love. We can't. Amen. You just have it. Yes. Yes. Hesed find it, its home in committed familial love, and it comes to life in actions. It is an essential part of God's character. Yes. Yes. And it is found 250 times in the Old Testament. Thank you, Lord. His covenant with his people is chesed. Thank you, Lord. He says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Amen. Even when the times you've turned away from me, even when you weren't a good friend to me, I've never wavered. I've never stopped loving you. I'm loyal to the end. Right, yes. Thank you, Jesus. If we look back, I'm almost done with this, and we're going to sing this song. The word friend, you can trace it back to a millennium before the Latin friend. It's friand, which is the old English of the modern-day friend. And here's what it means. To love, honor, and to set free. From slavery or confinement. Hallelujah. Now who knew that friend came from to set free from slavery or confinement? Mm -hmm. So let me put this in simpler terms. The word friend comes from a word meaning 
I love you. I set you free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's not just any friend. He's Jehovah Ra. Thank you, yes. Jesus. yes. John 15, greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Yes. Yes. You are my friends. Yes. If you do whatsoever, I command you. Yes. Henceforth, I call you not servants. The servant doesn't know what his Lord does. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Mm-hmm. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Yes. And ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Amen. And whatsoever you ask of my Father in my name, he may give it to you. Yes. Yes. These things I command you that you love one another. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Because he's not just any friend. He's yes. Jehovah Ra. Thank, yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. I'm going to read the prophecy to the church from November 4th. It says, be still and know that I am God, and I never change. Know that I am God. I am he that sustains thee. I am he that keeps thee from all evil. I am he that protects thee. I am he that directs your paths in the way of righteousness. I am what I say I am. I am the Lord God of the heavens, and I come with authority and power. I come to set the captives free. I come to restore all things. I come, look for me, for I'm closer than you think. Every hardship, every heartache, every struggle, I see it all. And I know it all. I'm here, I am with you to hold your hand. I see you and I will not forsake you. Put all your trust in me, saith God. And I will bring you through these dark days that lie ahead. For surely there are dark days, but my people shall rejoice and be glad in me. Saith God, rejoice for your king is coming to reward you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. He's telling you this morning that he's not just any friend. He's Jehovah Ra. Yes. Yes. And he has come to set you free and stick closer than a brother. Everybody, you can stand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know this is a little different than what you may have expected this morning, but I'm just doing what I feel led of the Lord to do. Because he wants you to know this for a reason. He has his reasons why he does stuff. 